Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought Through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe what God has done Through us, he's given life to one But isn't she lovely Hey guys, Ken's Restricted coming at you. It's January 27th. Um, I am 14 weeks pregnant. I'm like 76 weeks post-op lap band, I think. Um, and yeah, so I'm down a little bit this week. Last week I was 175.3. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's right. Um, this week I am 174.1, so I basically went back to what I was like two weeks ago. Cool with that? Whatever. Has my eating been great? No. Have I been exercising? No. Hold on, let me see if this is... Okay. I recorded this earlier and it did not focus, so I'm like paranoid now. Um, so, no exercise, eating better, but not good, not great. Um, I'm not overeating anymore like I was though, so I'm cool with that. Um, clothes don't fit, I'm wearing scrubs today and I'm wearing Louise's shirt. <laughs> I, uh, I told you guys that I would show you the baby book that I got, so here it is, cute little. Um, I still haven't figured out, you know mommy's uh interests and talents yet but i'm working on it so i've been you know slowly but surely filling this out uh putting in all the information um figuring out some of the louise's family members name was harder than i thought it was going to be um louise did not know his father so i had to rummage up his birth certificate to find out his grandparents names which, um, Louis was born in Mexico, so their birth certificates are, like, totally different than ours here. So I got to translate it, um, and then figure it out. <laughs> so, and I don't speak Spanish, so I was doing lots of Googling. Um, what else is happening? Um, everybody keeps asking me, like, oh, are you showing it? Are you showing it? I don't really think so. I, uh, my stomach, you know, is sticking out, but... It's mainly because it probably stuck out before, but I was able to like, you know, suck it in a little bit. But now, um, holding my breath is like ridiculously impossible. Um, also, I get really short of breath. So, as you can see, like when I'm talking, I'm like <laughs> dying of breath. Um, but other than that, everything's good. My nausea is starting to sort of wean off. My um, extreme sleepiness is starting to go away too, which is amazing because... Um, I usually am like, you know, on a, I call it a school night, you know, on a weeknight when I have to go to work the next day. I usually would go to bed about 10. Um, I was crawling to bed at like 7.30ish, 8. I mean, if I like made it to 8 o'clock, I was like, wow, stay up late. Um, but now I, I you know, stay up to my normal 10 o'clock-ish and everything's cool. So I'm loving that, which makes me think... Um, the gym is in the very near future because if I can stay up later and I'm not getting sick at night the way that I was, um, burp, we'll be able to go back to the gym. Um, other than that, I feel pretty good. Um, nothing real exciting to announce this week other than uh, welcome to my new um, pregnancy baby loophole insurance thing where um, I'm covered for the delivery, but when baby comes out, baby has no coverage. Okay, second part of my loophole. I cannot get my own coverage because I am pregnant, and um, in Texas, in the state of Texas, pregnancy is considered a pre-existing condition. Um, okay, like I have a sickness, or you know, like I have cancer or something, basically. It's god-awful. Um, and then, Baby can't be added into that insurance that I will get after pregnancy um, for 30 days. So basically when baby's in the hospital, baby has its first, 
you know, checkup appointments, no insurance coverage, so I'll be paying out of pocket for that. And um, as of yet, I've found no way around this. So it kind of is what it is. I knew that there would be some something that wouldn't be quite right with um, being covered on my parents' insurance. I didn't know it was going to be quite um, this big of a deal, but so be it. Um, so I've contacted the hospital that I plan to deliver in to try to find out some financial information from them um, so I can be putting, you know, steps forward to, you know, paying whatever it's going to cost me to get the kid out of the hospital. Um, so, uh, yeah, so other than that, I'm trying not to stress about that. Um, knowing that my delivery is covered really does, you know, lift a lot of fear because um, you know, with the delivery alone, we were looking at like $20,000. So crazy. I was having this kid in the bathroom in the tub at that, at that point. Um, so not having to do that, which I'm happy with. So anyways, I hope everybody has a good week. I don't really have a lot to update you guys on. Um, my weight loss is sort of the same. Um, I know a lot of people in the community are getting closer and closer and so close to goal. It makes me crazy. Um, I'm super excited for you guys. I'm so proud. I know how hard you guys have worked. Um, am I sad that I never got there? Yes, I have to be honest. Yes, I really am. Um, and I know that at this point for the next nine months or six months I have left, that's not going to happen. Um, now, after baby, um, you know, once I get back into, you know, my mojo, um, goal, I'm coming for you. But um, as of now, it's not really an option. So. I'm still trying to deal with my, I'm in the 170s, Oh, I hate the 170s, um, so, but it is what it is and I can't really do anything about it, but, um, yes, I think that if I got back to working out, I'd probably drop back down to be in the 160s, that's just my own personal thought on that situation. Um, if any of you guys watch The Biggest Loser, I still um, dislike Honda with all of my heart, just thought I'd throw that out there, don't know why. Um, I hope everybody has a good day. Um, Alright guys, I hope everybody has a great week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.